I mean, I feel like landing on the moon, like Neil Armstrong. This is this is a novelty, and it's so exciting to stand here. I'm amazed and very excited, and I'm very glad that MAN took the initiative to make this first move, and uh, we are very proud to be part of this. You really can see my smile today, which really reflects my mood because I'm very proud, to be honest, that we have made it. Wir befinden uns jetzt hier auf der Elbe Blue. Mein Name ist Olaf Elfers. Ich bin der technische Inspektor von dem Schiff Elbe Blue. Das Besondere an diesem Schiff ist, dass es das allererste Schiff, welches von einem herkömmlichen Dieselantrieb auf LNG umgerüstet wurde. Die Motivation, das Schiff mit E-LNG oder synthetischem LNG zu betreiben, ist eine weitere Reduktion der Treibhausgase. Da das synthetische LNG ja aus Wasserstoff gewonnen wird, durch Zuführung von CO2, möchte man eigentlich erreichen, einen nahezu CO2-neutralen Kraftstoff zu haben. We are at the e-gas plant where synthetic natural gas for the Elbe Blue will be produced. The e-gas plant is the first of its kind plant and since 2013 we demonstrate here that it's possible to produce synthetic fuels in industrial scale. The main advantage of synthetic natural gas is that it's a renewable fuel and you can use the existing LNG infrastructure in the harbors and on the board of ships to decarbonize the shipping sector. The cooperation with MIN started already in 2011. MIN delivered the methanation unit. Since then, we share our knowledge and experience to improve the technology and the future plans. In the next step of our cooperation, we work now together to introduce the synthetic natural gas as a renewable fuel in the shipping sector. Now the synthetic natural gas will travel from the e-gas plant to the Elbe Blue in Brunsbüttel. Today we are standing here in Brunsbüttel and in the first time of life we are here doing the bunkering of synthetic natural gas which means reduced CO2 emissions or nearly no CO2 emissions so to say. The whole bunkering will take roughly one hour so that's what you need roughly to unload one truck. There have been bunkering operations also here in Brunsbüttel already a few where we unloaded six trucks or even more. It was a clear commitment from our side to show the industry that uh, not only the shipping industry but also the NGOs, uh, the politicians, uh, banks and, and, and potential investors that uh, LNG technology on seagoing vessels are not only running on CO2 reduced fossil LNG but also on uh, CO2 neutral biogas and synthetic gas. Today's pilot of bunkering SNG here in Brunsbüttel into the tank of the Elbe Blue is a remarkable milestone in our ambitions in Unifeeder and also a milestone for the shipping industry in its whole. And we believe that alternative fuels can be a key lever for us in the shipping industry to significantly reduce GHG emissions and to become more resource efficient. If you ask for the potential, how much could be produced, there's enough potential to cover everything you need. The point is that you have to ask what do we need for the energy transformation that we are we have to start now and end in 2040. We need electrofuels of all kinds. We need hydrogen and everything you can make from hydrogen and LNG is one of these electrofuels. And there's 
enough potential in the world to do everything you want to substitute oil, to substitute natural gas, to substitute all fossil fuels. We all have to get greener, everybody knows that. So um, my recommendation for ship owners would be to explore new possibilities uh, to get greener, to invest in uh, available technologies uh, that are already there today and to basically do everything that's needed towards a greener future.